And great to have you on here because, I mean, right off the bat, it is clear that you are a huge horror fan. What, what gives it away? Yeah, yeah, maybe the screaming <laughs> pinhead over your shoulder. <laughs> so this is a room in your house, correct? It is. I have a couple rooms like this. Bathrooms, a bedroom, and the uh, downstairs man cave. <laughs> is that where you're at currently? That is where I'm at right now, yes. I'm a little surprised to hear it extend to the bedroom because our apartment, we have one whole wall devoted to the horror stuff, but it's still stops at the bedroom. And I mean, both me and my fiance love horror. We talk about it. It's it's our job, right. but uh, the bedroom is just kind of its own thing. But what do you have in your bedroom? Uh, just some pictures and, you know, uh, signed photos, things like that. When you were pitched to me as a potential guest, I was told that you were a big horror fan. Of course, I looked it up online and there is a video on the WWE YouTube channel where you're giving a tour of this room that you're in. It is. You know, they came to my house um, a few years ago and it's Charles Robinson's House of Horror. Check this out. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, please. Yeah, absolutely. It is rare for me to find someone with a horror collection that puts mine to shame, but I, I would say that yours does it. Well, I have a lot of stuff, but I, I do a lot of research and I look at other people's rooms. And if mine puts yours to shame, there are those that put mine to shame. Oh, so. God. <laughs> do you have two, three Michael Myers back there? Yeah, I have three. <laughs> Yeah. Are they different Michaels depending on the Halloween? They are actually. Two of them came from Trick or Treat Studios and another one I got from Costume Shop here in Charlotte. Oh man, that's so cool. I, I love it. I love that so much.